Japan. So thank you for taking the time out of your uh, Friday where you could be doing so many other things, especially to you young people, the, the messages that were shared here. I hope that you'll integrate that into your own life and your own consciousness. You know that Rosemary, <laughs> she didn't mention that when they go to get something to eat, before this oil development, they'd go a mile offshore to get a whale. And now they have to go 20 miles offshore to get a whale in those little boats you saw where the women who sew those skins together while they're sewing them make prayers for their men and to the elements so that they'll come back safely. And Rosemary is among those who go out for whales 20 miles in the Arctic Ocean and described one time when the wind picked up and they had to cut the whale because the it was so dangerous on the ocean and I know myself here in Washington DC I just drive over to Whole Foods and so that primary relationship to this earth that we all share uh, has has been broken a long time ago in American society but in the indigenous communities around the planet that primary relation to water to air to food to animal beings to all that sacred web of life is still uh, intact and only is threatened by uh, the, the, a society whose uh, ideology is based on gold, money, power. So uh, I don't mean to start on a bad, uh, leave us on a bad note. Uh, there was a lot of hope uh, represented here. Um, uh, Tom Belt from the Anit Kedua told us that the power of our traditions was held in in our being together. And so I hope that uh, you had a sense of what that means here uh, among these speakers, as well as you experience it in your own kinship and communities. Um, so, uh, Quinn, did you want to make some closing remarks? Um, so I wanted to just talk briefly about um, one of the reasons why we came into this project and, and, and as Gaji say, how we've come together. Um, I'd been working on a project with a Zuni colleague of mine, a paper that we titled Get to Know Your World. And that was really asking, it was, it was in some ways a command with an exclamation mark, the younger generation and all the generations to think about um, what that meant. So it wasn't just a physical sense of get to know your world, but it was also get to get to know the people who know the stories, um, get to know it as you know as a, as a spiritual connection, a, a physical connection, and so forth. Um, but w w and and the colleague of mine, Jim Enote, one of the things I was learning about that was really this very difficult process of connecting all the dots. It's not that simple. You have to bring people together. Not everyone knows who they need to go talk to, and even when they don't necessarily, or, or even if they know, they may not have the the ability to go talk to that person. And so I feel like one of the the roles that we've had here is to is to start thinking about how do you bring people together. So and how important that is. And I think this group um, has has learned a huge amount. We've been together for three days. I don't want to let any of you go home. <laughs> okay. Um, and I'm being told we're going to close with a song too. But before we, we, we do that, I also want to do a, a sort of an honor roll of the people that have helped with this project. Um, and two people I want to start with, um, we, we're very lucky to have one here in the audience, Judith Andrews, if you want to wave. <laughs> Judith helped me write the grant and submit the grant. This was a long time ago. <laughs> Thank you, Judith. Um, Cordelia Fruin, um, who is a graduate student out at UBC, also worked with me for six months to help coordinate everyone. Um, and uh, I also want to thank Cordelia. And then I'm also going to list everyone who came, um, because not everyone spoke today, but I think it's important. Um, and, and I want to have you stand. So we have Rosemary Atangarak, um, Mose Hearn, Renee Dufault, Jenny Joe, Gary Ferguson, Tom Belt, Lisa Leffler, Elizabeth Hoover, 
Alex Zachariah, John Doyle, who unfortunately is, has headed home, but it's important to <laughs> name everyone, um, Louise McDonald, Beverly Cook, Peter Collings, um, and we also had um, people from federal agencies come and work with us um, yesterday, and, and people are here again today. So Dorothy Castile, Carolyn Ayama, Sima Finn, um, Liz Kirby, uh, who's coming from the uh, consortia. Um, and uh, I also want to bring uh, Jose um, and uh, Guji out onto the stage. Um, and I also want uh, Rose Maria Estevez to come and stand up, and I want us all to give a, a, a hand to Rose, Rose Maria too, because she has done all the tireless work in the background, making sure that we know uh, where to be, what to do, what to eat, and when to eat. <laughs> so, so I just want to give a round of applause to everyone, and then and and then the song. Thank you. Uh, just to put this in some context, um, all of us uh, who, uh, the Wagyalakwa, the one who talked about Ohalogo, and uh, my cousin, my sister, cousin Beverly, and myself all sit around ceremonial fires that are our universities where we gain our knowledge. And we use songs, uh, seed blessing songs, uh, but we also use songs that uh, are brought to us from the interactions of many of the tribes. We are all connected through the hemisphere, uh, through our spiritual sharing of our spiritual ways. And so we wanted to share with you four songs from uh, a Tipi society um, that holds a formal uh, relationship with the federal government to protect the sacred medicine that is a birthing medicine, a medicine of recovering your spirit. And so this isn't to entertain you, it's to uh, help you to integrate the voices and the messages and the teachings that were shared with you throughout the day. And so I ask you to get comfortable in the seats where you're sitting. Uh, close your eyes. Pay attention to how you feel inside of yourself. To listen to the little voices inside of you. Get, you know, that hair out of your eyes and fix that wedgie and uh, <laughs> focus uh, on how what you've heard and experienced here uh, you can carry forward in your own life. And so uh, with these four songs that we're going to share with you, uh, we, we intend uh, as a blessing for you in your life. <clears throat>
Thank you, everyone. 